Last night, the House did something none of you sitting here thought we can do. The number of questions I could take in the number of weeks about doing appropriation bills. I told you don't give up on us because we're not giving up on the American people. We passed three appropriation bills, defense, state, and foreign ops, and homeland security. My biggest question is I don't understand why the Democrats voted against funding the government. In all, we have four appropriation bills done. There's 12 overall to get done. It's the discretionary spending every year the government is supposed to do. We have now in the House passed more than 70% of the discretionary spending appropriations. Need I remind you how much has the Senate passed? Zero. Not one appropriation bill has passed the Senate. <clears throat> We've done what many have said was impossible. When I became Speaker, I said we're going to change Washington. And we did that by keeping our commitment to restoring regular order. Bills that passed committee in June and July have been open for amendments for months. Struggled with a number of members who wouldn't allow it to come up, but I never gave up. 440 amendments were considered on the floor this week. And for the those who are historians, we are the first Republican majority to pass the state and foreign ops bill through regular order since 2006. My entire political career as a member of Congress, the Republicans have never been able to do what they just did last time. As we continue to get conservative wins and return to regular order, we actually need a stopgap measure to allow the House to continue to finish its work, to make sure our military gets paid, to make sure our border agents get paid as we finish the job that we're supposed to do. Another reason for the stopgap is to address President Biden's historic failure on the southern border. This is how bad things have gotten under President Biden's watch. In five days, there's been more than 50,000 illegal border crossings. Put that in perspective, in just five days. That's more than twice as much as the average for the entire month in the last administration. A wide open policy hurts America. We've heard it from Democrat leaders across the country. But despite the chaos, the president still won't go to the border. Setting new records every day, fentanyl, at an all-time high killing Americans, and he refuses to go to the border. He's been one time in 50 years. One time in 50 years. He's had more dinners with Hunter Biden's foreign business partners than he has going to the border. Think about that for one minute. Something he said he's never done, he's done more than he's ever been to the border in 50 years as an elected official. He was less than 200 miles from the border this week in Arizona. Less than 200 miles. And he couldn't even stop by for an 87 second photo op. Really makes you believe that President Biden is deliberately letting this happen and trying to continue to ignore it. If Biden won't visit the border, why won't he at least listen to the Democratic leaders that are elected across this nation? Mayors of New York City say Biden's border policy will literally destroy the city of New York. Governor of New York says illegal immigrants should go somewhere else. The governor of Massachusetts declared a state of emergency. Mayor of El Paso says the city is at a breaking point. Mayor of Eagle Pass, Texas says President Biden has abandoned them. Not one of these individuals is a Republican. Why does President Biden and congressional Democrats continue to ignore the border and ignore their own leaders? That is why I'm putting on the floor a stopgap measure that will fund the government and secure the border. No longer can the president ignore a problem he created that kills Americans every single day, destroys some of our greatest cities, 
and put states in a state of emergency. Every member will have to go on record of where they stand. Are they willing to secure the border or do they side with President Biden on an open border and vote against a measure to keep government open? 